Ladies and gentlemen, Jesse Warden here. I'm gonna cover today partial applications. A friend of mine said, can you help a beginner coder I'm working with? What are partial applications? And the problem with it is it is such an advanced concept. It assumes you know what pure functions are, closures are, what default parameters are, what function arity is, what curried functions are, and all this stuff just to understand what a partial application. Step one is just to go all over the basics. If you're really curious and you want to skip ahead, you at least have a small set of manageable videos to run through really quick, as well as a companion blog post. The second thing is that I'm a big fan of doing a lot of black box testing and white box testing. And a lot of those functions kind of border on integration testing, right? They actually use real world stuff. And if you do that, you tend to reuse functions and you want to use default parameters. The problem with default parameters is they're not pure. I wanted to illustrate why they're not pure and what you can do using partial applications to make them pure. So you have a functional way of doing things and you still have default parameters, but using partial applications to do it rather than the built-in JavaScript way. Hopefully this helps you out and after when you're done with this, you'll understand what partial applications are and how you can use default parameters in a pure functional way.